And that is why the other day na niliingia kwa shida mingi na wanaume wengi nilisema ile siku tutapata nafasi ya kubadilisha katiba I don't know when that will be but if we ever get nikasema mimi proposal yangu ni hiki ya governor tuachie our women leaders because they do better na hawaibi wanaume shida yetu ni wizi sasa sikia women rep anapewa milioni saba constituency mzima county no pa, pa sub county pa constituency sasa mama county wenyu with four four constituencies she has only 28 million ndio apeane basari ape groups pesa ya kujisaidia biashara anunue hema anunue umbrellas kama hizi za kusaidia watu wa biashara asaidia the vulnerable people living with disabilities asaidia orphans na akue na program kama hii ya restoring hope kadamu ile ora is your benzan de modo ma ineto dio gana no muone no mo si ona koi but as mweshimu anjeri said mama hata ukimpea 100 100 shillings atajua kuchunga and that is why even this program of restoring hope double n i'm saying is a very good program because you are not just restoring the hope of these young girls or these young mothers you are restoring the hope of the society in embu county and we will support you my only challenge vile nilikuambia na wacha nirudie hapa mbele ya watu wa embu hii program isikuwe ni angafu na isikuwe ni program yako wakati uko women rep please make sure you grow it into a foundation the restored hope foundation with time it will grow beyond embu county to the nation ile siku utataka kuwa president hiyo ndio utakuwa unatuambia i restored hope in kiambu in kirenyaga in west pokot si ndio but kwera kwa weka umaka nako ndio kiuma na mosie leo okia jenerie go kwebu i would hope that with time as we were discussing you will grow this into a foundation that you will continue to support as ngaf even the day you will get out of the position of woman rep that this foundation this girls hope and others will not be crushed because you are not in a position of leadership and a gaff that there will be a foundation that will be taking care of them ushauri mara nyingi anakuja kwa wale ambao wamechaguliwa kwa mara ya pili anauliza ushauri anasema eh anasikia sana anauliza kwa shimo haika alafu ulipanga namna gani hii pesa ni kidogo sasa nitaifanyia kazi yake unajua nitafanya nini na naona ile mambo yote tumezungumza ume execute na kuongeza zaidi sasa mimi coming here i have learned about this your program here ya kupeleka hawa watoto kuwapatia second chance hawa wasichana na mimi sasa nikienda huko nitafanya hiyo tunaona nimejifunza kitu eh yeye yeah, amejifunza kuna yale amejifunza kutoka kwangu nimeona hapa leo lakini kuja kwangu hapa leo hata mimi nimejifunza jambo na pongezi sana na ninataka kusema huyu mama mumshikilie. Mambo mengine ambayo anafanya tena anafanya kwa haraka. Pesa yetu ilichelewa ya ngafu kufika kama vile uh, hawa viongozi wametoka Nairobi kwa ofisi wamesema. Mimi kuna mambo bado sijayapanga sijayafanya bado naendelea kuyapanga. Lakini na yeye naona kwa chap chap tayari umbrella zake ziko tayari, kwa chap chap tent zake ziko tayari. Kwa chap chap tayari anapeana. Mimi niko na zile wiki lakini ziko kwa store. Bado sija store kupeana. Lakini umenyea mishinda kwa kila kitu. Hiyo si ni mzuri jamani. Huyu mama mumshikilie, huyu mama anawapenda. Na huyu mama anapiga kazi. Ngia si ana hiyo nation. Ando asio muona manga. Besa yema huda gracia administration. Chuma go hau. Ko go koro go kindo kebata ni mutumia kuheo kigina. Nyono mutumia na ongi muhegana. Ni amenyaga uri gwitatia. E kuga ya mbesa icio. Unajua wabunge wa single constituency wa Pendi ni kusema hivi lakini wao wanapata more than 100 million per sub county. Lakini kina mama ukiwapa hiyo pesa 7 million unaona ile kazi ambayo wanafanya. Na mimi naomba na najua majority leader na support women in leadership. Tukienda pale bunge tukileta mjadala tuongezewe pesa. Na nishukuru rais manake in the last year alipoingia kwenye serikali alituongezea 1 billion. 
tuongezewe hata huu mwaka 1 billion ili hawa watu waweze kupata manufaa ili WN aweze kupeleka watoto wengi shuleni aweze kukupa wasiana wetu hope zile assistive devices za PWD unajua wawakilishi wa kike wanafaa waangalie youths waangalie PWD na waangalie kina mama na ni njoro ya milioni hizo mgwanja ino siko gaya nogu ni njowe aligago ego siga yake agoku na mukoro jesi ya human rep wanyu ni njoro ni mwa igwa kige na kire na kio kana ni yake ugege ikara na njoro wa igwe human rep wanyu wake arere yu wake njoro njoro na mbasari ya human rep mele mbesa igia adabole nona ganeni ni mono ona ni kuge ria akaba nga kito ya homo ze ni mura heo hema ni mura heo njoro na hatu za mwena mea guri ni mura heo assistive devices ya PWD kwena siya na siya dhukuru na mumu kwa ya gire kedha aote utongori ya wega the first program is the restored hope program the restored hope program is the program that I had whispered to you at one point it is about the teen girls, the teen mothers who lost their hope because they went to school, secondary schools but they dropped out of school either from one, from two, from three or from four because they became pregnant, they had babies, some of them got married, others, others are single mothers and so they dropped out of school and they could not continue with education. They were rejected, ridiculed by the community, they felt neglected even by the uh, same people uh, in the family and so I thought the best thing I could do as one of the major projects was to ensure that I have restored their hope by taking them back to school. And what I did, it's not a Ronyeja's issue, it's not a Manyata issue, it's not a Bere South issue, it's not a Bere North issue, it's a county-wide issue, and we are covering the 20 wards in Nepal County with a lot of fairness, and nobody was coerced to enroll. It was voluntary, because these ladies are either married, or they are single parents, so we could not coerce them, and they voluntarily agreed to go back to school. So what I'm doing with them is to ensure that they are comfortable in school, I purchase their uniforms, and also ensure that the period, the years they will be in school, I'll take care of the school fees. None of them is going to be, uh, be paying school fees. And they are all in their secondary schools, and as we speak, they have already reported. They reported on 9th of this, uh, on, on January, and they are all placed in different secondary schools, and some of the principals are here to represent the other principals. And my ultimate goal is to ensure that after, after they, uh, they acquire the secondary school education and they get a certificate, God willing, and I know I will be alive. For those who will be able to qualify to go to colleges and universities, I will still support them. For them that will not be able to qualify to go to colleges and universities, my intention, my intention is to ensure that they all enroll for various short courses at their will, what they interest them. For example, if they are passionate about salon, which one is going salon, if it is a, a catering, whatever course, so long as it's a short course, because and it's a day, a uh, daytime course, and it's not going to be now, they are teen mothers, they are wives, and uh, what have you. And uh, even at that point, I will not leave them behind. I will pay for their uh, course, the short courses, exams, and uh, the tuition. Wamalize, wakimaliza, God willing. God willing. After they are done with their courses, we now sit again down with them together and buy for them the startup kit to start up their businesses. So that is uh, about the result of hope for the women, because when you empower a woman, you know the community is sorted out. The other project and the product is uh, the normal bursaries uh, that we issue, and that today we are going to touch the areas that the Mama County covers, uh, the PWDs, and the PWDs we are going to sort them out with uh, about 426,000. For the orphans, 243,000. Then we have the vulnerables at 284,000. Then because it is the same amount of money that I get for the allocation of a bursary from GAF, then we sort out the over 65 students, the teen mothers. One to my teacher Shule, there are about 65 of them cutting across Embo County. That is one of the products. 
The other product uh, our chief guest that we are going to launch uh, today is the sanitary pads, the sanitary towels. And uh, we are going to ensure that after this, now we are going to distribute to various uh, uh, different uh, constituencies in the, the, the schools that are in dire need of sanitary pads. And uh, the sanitary pads, uh, our chief guest, it is not, uh, it, it is not the, 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 uh, what we were supposed to get as a supply. It is what now uh, we purchased from uh, the allocation that were given by GAF at the headquarters. So we are still waiting for the uh, government allocation where the office of the woman rep is supposed to receive all the sanitary pads that are purchased so that we can distribute. Whatever I'm distributing to their sanitary pads has nothing to do with what the government should be providing. Uh, the other product that we are going to uh, launch today, the other product that we're going to launch today is the wheelchairs. The wheelchairs in form of tricycles. And we have a hundred of them. And uh, these uh, devices were given and donated by Partners for Care. And then here the lady has come, so she has explained that. And it's because the PWD people have been neglected and nobody thinks about them. So I thought that the first batch we could do the tricycles because they can be mobile with them and they are something like a put the camera so they can do their businesses as, as, soon, as long as they really want to do that business. Uh, they are somewhere they can keep their wares, whether they're sweets or whatever it is they want to sell, the ice creams, we'll do a demo there as even as you unveil that product. The other product that we are going to unveil today is the, the tents. We know we have groups, different type of groups, the welfare groups, and uh, we are going to uh, issue some of the groups in there, tents, so that we can be able to use them when they have occasions, not necessarily for various, even for other activities that are there in the community. And then we have the modern, the modern water dispensers. The modern water dispensers uh, for the community, and we will do a demo for that through Koi, is for example, when we have the catering team, Akuna Mazishi, is a way you can have clean water through that dispenser that is hung around there, the blue one, and it is portable, you can carry like a school bag, and it doesn't even, they will not cost you much to carry. It is body friendly, it will actually massage your back. Munajua kumekua na mambo ya mbao wa sichana, wa colleges, universities, wanapatikana wa meuliwa. Sini kweli, situmesikia hiyo story. Na nijambo ambalo, Ata tuna chindu wali ita tutafanya na mnagani ya maritakua na mnagani kwa sababu ata tukisema uperelezi ufanyo ya utafanyo wa lakini mutu wa kiba hamefanya nini? Hamekufa. Kwa hivyo ni ngeomba wale wa mama tuko hapa, wa sichana tuko hapa, tuwe makini. Ata kama uko na chalia na kupenda aje, maali munaenda. Maali munaenda, ama maali munaenda sherehe, uwe na mutu ambaye ya kokando na wewe at least anajua mukona nani. Na kile ambacho unakikula ma unakila, ujue ya kwamba kimetoka wapi, kimetengenezo na mnagani, na musiende mambo kuna giza giza. If you must get somebody, let it be an open ground mchana, so that at the end of the day, you remain safe. Last time you tuliambiwa ya kwamba in another university, more than 15 ladies, walikufa, waliuliwa, wengine wamewekewa dawa katika chakula, katika kinyuaji, Na kwa hivyo tujiadhari sana. Sijia sema tusienda sheree. Tukienda sheree, tujiadhari. Na maali unaenda kukongoa maali papulana. Pia ujiada, ujiadhari. Tono kwa tekuwa tendoe, tekuwa endoa. Ile pesa tunapata, it's a drop in the ocean. Mwishimu wajeri will tell you again and again and mwishimu wa hika will tell you. 7 million, ukitoa 2.4 million leo. Imepaki na pesa ngapi? Na lazima, Munia ni wangalie hapa kule Kwa hivyo ni ngeomba Mwishimu wa ishungwa I know your voice is bigger than my voice Tukiongeze wa pesa Atuta pigana na o Leaders wengine Unajua wengine wanaona tukiongeze wa pesa Tutaendea bitidi yao Na hata atusipoongeze wa tukitaka kubiendea Tutabiendea tu Kwa sababu si pesa inamanya kazi za zingine Ni mutu anatia bitidi Na anatumia akidi Lakini pia 
Nikiopa pia pesa kuna vile pesa huosema na huongea. Kwa hivyo tuongezewe kiasi kidogo tuweze pia kufanya mambo makubwa makubwa kwa sababu hawa wangwana hawaelewi ya kwamba mtu ambaye amechaguliwa na 145,000 votes in Embu County ile ana pesa. Ukionekana uko na gari kubwa na wewe ni mheshimiwa nadhania umeweka pesa na ngunia kwa gari si kweli. Na sasa uh, mheshimiwa chungu tabadhali tuongezewe tu tuweze kufanya kazi. We will not come go any other person sits. Lakini wasipofanya kazi na gotie keteke ya moto. Nego ichungu warao gatekwa. Lakini ajeta yetu hata si kufanya hivyo ni tufanyia watu kazi. Mwene mwe muka kaitiri ato koronga ma Teo ma Mwena tuwa mutawe na waya kamuka uga ni mwoko Tuwa mbati ya ngade kana tuwe kare wafale ya tole kana tuwe noke Nyele mwoto wako eno kana kamo kwe di Ye Ye wakamu wana kuma Eko mire sorutewa 